The dashboard allows you to view the number of clients currently deployed, their protection status, and a statistical view of all clients currently managed by the console. Deployment status is further subdivided into three sections, eScan status, eScan version, and license. eScan status provides an overview of the total number of clients currently managed, unmanaged, along with the number of connected PCs that have eScan installed. To know each client's current status, you can click on any one of the numbers. Here you can view the machine name, current status of the clients, version that has been deployed, and the group the clients are assigned to. The eScan version section allows you to view the versions current. The License section allows you to view the number of licenses in use and the total number remaining. To de-license a particular client, click Manage License. Select the client and click Move to Non-License. To add, Click again on Manage License, select the client from Non-Licensed Computers Group and click Move to License. The protection status gives an overview of the modules that have been enabled, disabled on the client side. Clicking on the respective numbers will allow you to view clients that currently have a particular module enabled, disabled. The protection statics allows you to view files that have been disinfected, quarantined, websites blocked, along with the name of clients that the action occurred on. Click More to further expand the antivirus module. You can further expand the module by clicking on the individual numbers. Here you can view clients on whom the actions have been implemented. You can further expand the list by clicking on their respective status. The following is a list of URLs blocked on machine QA171. This can also be achieved directly from the dashboard as well. Simply click the respective number to get the status of the client. Clicking on the respective status will provide the date, infected file, along with a small description of the infection. If you noticed, the current statistical logs are maintained for the last seven days. To increase the number of days, click on Web Console Settings and edit the Dashboard setting. Click Save and head back to the Dashboard. The logs will now be maintained for the specified number of days. The dashboard can be further configured to suit your requirements. You can choose only what is of importance, omitting the rest. To do this, click Configure Dashboard Display and deselect the modules that are not important.
Note, the dashboard status remains the same as no changes were made to the dashboard configuration. Administrators can also run an update directly from the dashboard. Click the following link, highlighted, to update eScan Internet Security Suite for SMB.